What's going on YouTube? Thanks a lot for coming by the channel once again for some more Pokemon TCG sealed product openings. For this video, we're gonna be opening a newly released Sword and Shield Brilliant Stars Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box exclusive to the PokemonCenter.com. But before I get to the opening, I just wanted to take, uh, take this opportunity to say thank you. Uh, there's a lot of things I wanna give thanks for. Even though uh, currently I don't get that much viewership on the Pokemon stuff, it's all right. Uh, it's been fun. It's a distraction for me. It's something that uh, it's a hobby for me, and I am lucky and fortunate just to be able to uh, be able to have a, a hobby to keep me entertained, to keep me happy, to keep me um, distracted and uh, uh, joyful and thankful and grateful for stuff and whatnot. So. Uh, to those of you that do come by and watch, thank you so much. I appreciate your, uh, your support and uh, hopefully you come back for some more. And Hopefully I'm able to provide you some of that distraction that we need sometimes from uh, the things that go on in life. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you and I hope that you're all uh, well and safe and uh, take care of yourselves and everything. So uh, yes, thank you so much for everything. Now. We're going to go ahead and get started with this that um, <laughs> I am very excited for. It. I am. Uh, there's just, like I said, a lot of stuff been, that has been going on. Um, but for now, I'm going to try and keep the excitement for the video because uh, I want to be able to provide you a distraction as well. So, again, this is a Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box that I am opening and this is the first time I ever open an Elite Trainer box that's exclusive to the Pokemon Center. Granted, I started collecting uh, just recently around the time that Evolving Skies and stuff like that was first released. Um, so I did, I missed out on a lot of ETBs and stuff like that and it was nearly impossible to get them at like retail price and, and everything. So like let's say one for example was like the Rebel Clash ETB. Everywhere that I found it was about like 80 bucks or more. Why? Why? People sometimes, I've been reading about people not really liking uh, Rebel Clash. So why is it 80 bucks? Mm -hmm. Should be only $40. But anyway, so this one's 50 bucks as opposed to the $40 as uh, most regular ETBs. And in this one, I guess what makes a difference is that you're getting, I will be opening some of the regular ETBs as well. They just have not arrived. But So be on the lookout for that, all right? The sleeves, I believe in that one, they're like uh, white from what I've seen on uh, some other YouTube channels. This one, I noticed that it comes with a deck box, which I'm excited for because, uh, yeah, as I've said in some of my other videos, my brother has been putting together some decks so that we can go ahead and try to have ourselves some Pokemon battles. Uh, since he has built those decks, I have not had the... I have not had the opportunity to battle with him. I know that he has uh, played with some of his friends and stuff like that, and I've just missed out, you know, because life keeps me busy and stuff like that. But I hope that at some point I do get that opportunity. And, you know, at least now I'll have some new cards to provide uh, for the collection, some new cards to provide him for the decks. And, uh, yeah, I think I do want to open this one up like I have with some of the other ones as well. So that we can see the inside. So let's try and uh, let's try and be careful here. Yeah. So I can show you guys the full inside of the ETB. What is it? A uh, casing or what do we call this? The cover. All right. It came out relatively smooth. You will notice also that now uh, I have had. Thank you. A lot of you. Thank you. Have that have been suggesting to me through like Facebook and stuff like that to try and maybe change up the the camera angle uh, so that it shows up because I guess I, uh, the way the product was showing up in my previous camera angles were not uh, as great. However, well, you know, I'm uh, a noob at this. I'm not necessarily all that. Uh, I was trying to go based on whatever setup I had and it wasn't until recently that I realized like, oh yeah, I could use the mic boom arm as a holder for my webcam. And then that's how I could do the the top down view okay and it has been better for me as well for my back i've been complaining in some videos sometimes about my back she's so this is good for me we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and give you a slow rundown of the cards that are in the set in case you have not had an opportunity to do so some other some of the other uh 
videos that have caught on YouTube, I have been appreciative that they have showcased the book a little bit, but I felt that in some cases they just went too fast. Now, I do understand that if you buy your own, you know, you get an opportunity to, uh, you know, go through the cards yourself and stuff like that. But I don't know that everybody's going to have the opportunity to buy an ETB. I don't know that everybody is familiar with like resources and stuff like that that you have available to check out the, the cards that are in the deck. I don't know if you uh, gave yourself the opportunity to see what cards are in the deck before you decide to see how much you're going to buy. Or if, I don't know if you simply don't care. You know, you can fast forward if you want. But, you know, I'm trying to go just a little faster so that it at least gives you an opportunity to pause it if you want to. Check out some of the cards. Hopefully they're a little bit focused. There are plenty of cards on here that I think are really, really, really cool looking. Um, that I hope, even from the, the comments and stuff like that, that look pretty awesome. So I'm hoping that we do get some excellent pulls from here. And I have ordered a new binder that should be coming in the mail soon, I hope, because I do need a place for all of these cards as I pull them out. Because I also have in the mail, uh, I do have, um, oh, they return boss's orders. Where is it, where is it, right here. Yeah, they brought back boss's orders right here, another set. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of cards on here that I'm really looking forward to that I'm hoping I will pull more specifically. This one is the greatest card ever. Well, I'm just kidding. It's a really, really good card. And this one, this is probably an underrated card right here that I haven't really seen anybody be too excited about, Luminion. Uh, Luminion V, it's uh, a Pokemon that I became a bit comfortable with because at some point, I forgot in which generation, I think it was in Black 2, that it had access to Tailwind. Of course, these right here. Had access to Tailwind and uh, it was, I believe, the only water Pokemon that had such access. So, uh, I also like that it came, the, uh, the ability it came with, of course, I'm talking about the, the baseline games in uh, the handheld series and stuff like that. I like that it came with a Storm Drain, I believe it was, so that, you know, could uh, power up. And it also had access to the move Brine, which was pretty cool. Okay, so here we go, the new booklet for the rules. Here's the deck box. Really? Hmm. For some reason I thought it was gonna be bigger, but it's all right, it's all good. I didn't pay attention to the regular ETBs in terms of this. Do they have this? Is this different? I don't recall, so we'll put that aside over here. And this one, of course, as I mentioned, is $50, and it comes with 10 packs instead of eight, as a regular ETB would normally have. And here we go with them. Now, I hear a lot of people pronounce it as, ah, oh, it's a little squash. A lot of people pronounce it as Arceus, but shouldn't it be Arceus? Like, I don't know that the C warrants the K sound in that <laughs> in that spot. Yes, I am one of those people. So from here in my videos, at least you will see, or you will hear rather me pronounce it as Arceus. You can fight me all you want about how it might be Arceus, but I believe it's Arceus. But let me know, actually, let me know. Why is it Arceus and not Arceus? Let me know in the comments. Let me know why I am incorrect and that is the case and uh yeah so here's the new style of energy cards i'm sure you've already seen that let's put that uh, over there all right here are the sleeves be pretty cool and i like uh, i haven't gotten my other uh, dividers i haven't gotten the i'm looking forward to the booster box that's in the mail currently uh, this, uh, the one booster box that I purchased comes from a place called Paragon, Paragon Game Store, uh, and they are in Texas, and that is, I've already gotten my notification that it's on the way, and I am hoping to get it very soon because the booster box videos I have seen so far have shown that, uh, there's the damage markers, have shown that 
great pulls seem to be expected. Those are booster boxes, okay? Always remember that when it comes to ETBs and stuff like that, it's, uh, is this different? Mm -hmm. Uh, in the ETBs and everything like that, it's always hit or miss, all right? You're always taking a chance when it comes to the ETB, whether you're going to get some good hits or you're not going to get anything at all, all right? So, it's possible that while I am excited right here about opening up this uh, Pokemon Center exclusive ETB, in the end, I might end up a little disappointed, but we don't know. We don't know. We'll see. What we're doing. Okay, let's keep, the, let's keep the packs right here. And I'm just gonna go open them in the order that they were placed. I'm not randomizing it, nothing. Just however they stuffed them in, took them out. Here we go. These are my first, my first, my first, my first. So here is hoping that we get some good stuff. Let's go. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, all right? And of course, the code cards. If it's your first time here, I'm trying to figure out different ways to give them away. I don't want just one viewer uh, to come in here and get them all for themselves. So here we go. Uh, Dustclops, Weavile, Starmie, that's pretty key. Uh, we got the Clefairy, Carablast, Staryu, Burmy, Ryolu, Focus now. Clink. Oh, I should probably slow down, huh? Because I think from what I've seen, if you get one of those trainer, woo, if you get one of those uh, art trainer art gallery cards, it comes in the reverse hollow slot. I need to remember that. So maybe I'm gonna keep count. Looks like we get at least one hit off of this ETB, and it looks promising. A full art trainer. But what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Shireen's cat. Ooh, a rainbow. What's up? All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We start off good. We at least get one hit off of these. I remember the uh, Fusion Strike ETB that I opened up. I don't think it gave me any hits whatsoever. Or at the very least, it wasn't... Uh, if I did get a hit, I don't think it was anything good from what I recall. So, this is very nice to see. Okay, we just got one. We'll keep the reverse hollows right uh, Keep the reverse hollow right there. Keep the comments over here. For, oops. Over here for now. Here we go with the RCS artwork. All right, here we go. Pack number two. I wonder if I have to figure out a different way to maybe open these so I don't have to be putting my arms up in the air so much, but at the same time, hmm, building up my arm strength, you know what I'm saying? Two, three, the energy. Hmm. I need to figure out how I want to do it in case of, uh, in case of the reverse hollow slot, huh? Okay, so Weavile, Starmie, Fresh Water Set, Turtwig, Piplup, all right. Come on, focus now. Shumish, Starly, Execute, a Primp Blup. Reverse Hollow and the Lux Ray for the rare. Okay, let's see. Here we go. But can we get it to focus though? What's up? Come on, camera. Are you really gonna make me do more editing or whoa? Alright, there we go. Lux Ray for the rare. Print plup. Print plup. Print plup. Or should I just say primp, lip, primp, lip? Whatever, here we go with the whimsicott. Let's go. Come on, pack number three. Give me some more love. Give me more, give me more, give me more. Come on, give me more, give me more, give me more. Come on. Please don't let that rainbow one be the only hit we get on this one. I would like it if we get something really awesome aside from that. One, two three and not the energy this is the v-star 
marker that we have been seeing I'm sure you've probably if you've been watching any videos by now you've probably come across somebody getting surprised by that V star like wait what was that what was that so I treat it as the energy okay here we go we got the berry trainer grottle the bite Buizel Alucha Electabuzz Bidoo Clefairy Trainer Gloria Reverse Hollow Manaphy Alright, alright For the rare There goes the Manaphy I'm trying to keep count in my head as I give you guys the names of the packing names that I'm pulling so that I can uh, try and see if I can catch myself be shocked if I come across the reverse hollow slot having the, the something from the trainer art gallery. You know what? So please excuse me if I'm slowing down. I'm trying this. Uh, too many things in my head that I'm trying to do at once. It's a little bit harder than just walking and chewing gum. Know what I'm saying? Ooh, all right. Throw is the first throw that I pull and it looks pretty key. No one, two, three. The energy. How appropriate. All right, here we go. We start off with a Gabite. Morgrim. Dustclops. Throw, Hawlucha, Buizo, Carablas, Nchino, the Weavile, Reverse Hollow, and oh yeah, let's go. Let's get ourselves another hit off of this ETB, Kingler V. Could have been B-Bank, but it's all right. We get another hit, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go get ourselves another hit. Get ourselves hit. another hit. Let us get it. Another hit. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Please. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Please. There you go. All right. So far, so good with this ETB right here. Uh, we've gone through four packs so far, and we've at least pulled two hits out of the four packs. And the good thing is that since it's a Pokemon Center ETB, we got six packs to go instead of only four. So here we go. All right, Charizard. Charizard, get us something good here, please. Uh, and if you don't, it's all good. But can you like give me some comments that I haven't pulled yet from these uh, from these first few packs already so that I can start building it already, please, 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 please. please. All right, here we go. Torko, another very, very commonly used Pokemon in uh, BGC. Cynthia's Ambition, ever since they gave it Drought Clang, it's become a staple. Shroomish, especially in a Trick Room team. Throw, Cast for, Trap Hinge, Gaibo, Reverse Hollow Star you and a Mewtwo, all right. This Mewtwo card is just a standard basic card, what have you, but the artwork is incredible on this one. Come on, let's focus now. Let's give some credit right there. What does it say? Arnesaki Dynamic? Did I read that correctly? Come on, let's focus now, focus. What I like about this webcam that I have is the ability to hang it up from where it is, but I do not appreciate how many times I feel like I have to kind of like slow down to focus. So, um, but it's all good. I feel like the workout on my upper body right now, you know, building up that arm strength, gotta build the rebuild up my back strength, you know, so I'm not like, complaining all the time because I'm old already. I'm too old already, my back hurts. Nah, not that old. Don't let all the gray hairs on the beard fool you. I'm not of that uh, that high up in that in my age yet. All right, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that we're having some fun here, 
and uh, you know we're trying to have ourselves a good time and enjoy the hobby here we go trainer Barry Starabia trainer Gloria Cherubi Sock oh, it's sick dude Burmy Staryu Magmar looking sick too dude that's just oh in the snow that's a sick, such a sick looking card right there. We go for the reverse hollow. We get Minchino. We get another hit. We do not. We get a Grimmsnarl. All right. I'll take that Grimmsnarl. At least it's a rare that uh, I hope is probably difficult to pull. Uh, there's a lot of like <clears throat> going through my evolving, evolving Skies collection. I've noticed that. Or, come on, let's focus now, please. please, please. There we go. As I've gone through my collection, for as many packs as I have opened, for as many packs as I have opened for Evolving Skies, I'm still missing. I forgot what's that one rare card that I'm missing, but it's something like a, possibly like a Dialga. No, I think that's good. Did I pull a Dialga? No, there's like a Reshiram or something like that in Evolving Skies, I don't remember, but it's just like a random, regular, rare card, you know, and for as many as I've opened, it never popped, never popped, so like, my set is incomplete, at least from all the regular rares, you know, all the other cards, like the V cards and the hits and everything like that, it's expected to make it to be difficult to collect those, right, but come on now, when am I going to get that one, alright, Crimp Luck. Trainer Kindler, Energy Double, Turbo Energy, Spirit Tomb, Clink, Sneasel, Turtwig, Piplup, Trainer Roseanne's Backup, Reverse Hollow, and a Garchomp. All right, is it a Hollow at least? Okay. A guard chomp hollow. We'll go ahead and sleep that up. Why not? Let's give it a sleep. Why not? But mmm. 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 I don't know that I want to give this one a sleep because uh Do I wanna use these for a thing? Nah, well I'm gonna get uh, like at least two regular ETBs that are uh, in the mail. I think I want to use those other ones instead for sleeves, and this one leave at least uh, 60 for a deck. I know my brother wanted some sleeves, and these are pretty cool. They're pretty lit. They're pretty awesome. So, uh, Garchomp. All right, I'm going to leave Garchomp sleeveless for now, and then uh, I will pull a different sleeve and sleeve it up, okay? I will only use at least maybe five of these gold ones, and then should I give them to my bro? Should I give them to my bro for a deck? It would look pretty sweet. Hmm. I think so. All right, let's see. One, two, three packs left. So this is pack number eight. So far, not too bad. Doing okay. I'm having fun here. Hope you are too. Enough for you to like, subscribe, check out my other videos. I've gotten some good hits. In other cases, you know, it feels like I haven't gotten much. But uh, plenty of times I've gotten some good stuff and it's been fun doing so. And well, you know, hopefully it encourages you to try and start up your own collection and maybe even start recording. Share with us. Share with the world, everybody. Come on, let's do this. Double Turbo Energy. Torco once again. Clang. Nilsuri. Purloin. Spiritomb. Starly. Ryolu. Friends in Galler, Reverse Hollow. Really? We're gonna get two of these? I hope it's not the same one though. I hope it's not the same one. That'd be funny in the same box, people. Okay, I'm down. <laughs> I was like, are you serious? You're gonna give me Sharon's care again? Come on, really? But no, you give me the rainbow and the full art. Wow, what are the odds that one 
How lucky is that, huh? How lucky is that? What's up? You see? And if I don't record it, I could be like, dude, I pulled the same one. You know, no way. I'd be like, nah, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. No way did you pull it off the same ETB. No way. But yes, way. I did. I sure did, yo. I sure did. I don't have too many full art trainers in my collection. So getting these are pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Here we go. Oh, you know what? Let me put it right here. I'll show them off at the end right now. Let's put this away. Let's get these comments out of the way. I wish I had taken the time to separate the trainer cards while I had a chance, but it's all right. I like sorting through stuff, so it's all good. Nothing too bad. Give myself a little bit more space right here because I feel like I'm just uh, working in a tight space, man. Right there. Okay, let's see, get that over here, get that over here. We could get these uh, right here, and then we could keep all the reverse homes right here. Get this right here. All right, here we go. We got two packs left, everybody. Two packs left. So far, so good with some pretty cool stuff. I would say that uh, this one has been worth it so far, at least. Uh, you know, I'm glad that it wasn't an ETB that provided me with absolutely nothing at all. So that's awesome. And uh, I'm having really fun with this set right now. And it's just my first one opening up. Can you believe it? I don't believe it. Can you believe it? All right. Collapse Stadium Trainer. Bear Tick. All right. <laughs> Trainer Jaren's Care. So I pulled every single version of this card, it feels like. Now all I'm missing is the reverse hollow, and I'll be set. I'll have everything. Burmy. I lost my count. What is that? Number four. This is number five. Ryolu. Magmar. Six. Impidim. Seven. Axew. Eight. So that means the next one will be number nine and a possible trainer gallery. But it's not. A nose pass. Reverse hollow. And. An Electivire, sweet, look at that. So this Electivire card looks awesome because you see the Magmor Magmortar that's in the back, if only. If only I could get this to focus a little better so that I can. I'm gonna need to update my camera or something, y'all, because I'm not a fan of the fact that I cannot get this to focus for the life of me. And it's quite upsetting because, you know, I can't really show you how awesome this card looks. So, you know, when you do pull, make your pulls, check it out, right? Because that looks really awesome. And I've seen another, in, uh, in another video with, where the Magmortar, I believe, has Electivire in the background. So. That's pretty sweet, and that's almost like, it feels like a, I don't want to say a throwback or whatever, but, or a nod, or an Easter egg, or whatever, but if you played any of the games, ooh, chimp charge, if you played any of the games, of the handheld games from the baseline games or anything like that, Electivire and Magmortar were released in the same generation, so it's, it's cool to see them uh, featured both together in one card. Okay, here we go. Last pack of the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. And for this video, Monferno. Oh, wait. I did not put these aside, so you know, I don't want to get myself all confused now. All right, here we go. Monferno. One. Primpla. Grotto. Chinchar, cast form, Golet, Impidimp, Shinx, did I do something wrong or is this the reverse hollow slot? Three cards left, huh? Did I do something wrong or did they place them incorrectly? But okay, last pack magic, here we go! So is this... No way! Look at that, yeah! 
<laughs> All right. We get ourselves our first. Wow, this ETB has been fire. So far, look at that. Rapid Strike Urshifu V from the Trainer Art Gallery. Sweet. So, do we end it with two hits for the video? No, we do not, but it's all good because we got ourselves. What in the world? Ice Q Fusion Strike. Well, that's interesting. That's a really cool looking card. <laughs> That looks pretty cool. But okay, all right, we get ourselves our first, our first trainer gallery card of Brilliant Star set. And it's a really, 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 really cool looking card. And off the ETB, everybody, like I said, the ETB is hit or miss. I can't imagine that the fact that it's a Pokemon Center exclusive had anything to do with it. Because this came, this this one gave me some really good ones, some really good ones to start off. For this being my, you know, it could have been a lot worse. I could have gotten nothing at all. I could have gotten a lot less. But you know, let's see. We got ourselves Lamp, and Sharon's Care, a Hollow, I guess, Garchomp. Looks really. All in all, not too bad, right? Not bad at all. I don't think so. There's again the Garchomp Hollow, the Sharon's Care. Is it Sharon or Sharon's? Sharon's Care Rainbow along with the full art. Kingler V and of course, to end it with the Rapid Strike Cursor V. Rapid Strike, whoa, I just said that, hello. I write it right here and then I write it right here sorry but anyway here we go everybody that was great I had such a great time I had fun I needed this I wanted this distraction and I was looking forward to this set for uh, since before it was being released it was looking very promising it was looking like it was gonna be awesome and you know all the videos that I had seen from the youtubers that are fortunate to get these uh, not only ahead of time, but you know, they get some free boxes and stuff like that. So, you know, that's, thank you for showing us what's available. Uh, that, that's been awesome watching the hits that they've been getting. And it's made me excited for my booster box that should be arriving soon. So I hope that I get to bring you that content as well, much sooner rather than later. And so, yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming by. I hope you had a great time. I hope that, uh, you know, I gave you a little bit of uh, a little bit of happiness for a few minutes. And uh, you've certainly given me happiness for uh, allowing me to be able to share some of this stuff with you. So thank you so much for the support. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for your time. Thank you for everything. And as always, reminder to all of you, be respectful, responsible, be safe. Practice kindness. And we'll see you on the next one, okay? Thank you so much. Peace, everybody.